everyone. My name is Ray Prakash and welcome to the second class of pie charts. So here we'll discuss about the concept with which we, we had ended the first video. Okay. On that successive percentage change concept. So we'll do a actual set on this, uh, this concept to make you understand it better. And you can do it afterwards, right? This double pie chart with this increasing value or decreasing value concept you can do it very, very, very easily. Okay. So let's just see the set here. This graph shows percentage expenditure of J, you know, J the person here, J on education, miscellaneous, saving, grocery and regular bills in the following two years, right? So the regular bills are what? Regular bills are like uh, electricity bill, phone bill, internet bill. Okay. So salary of J in 2016 is given as 2,50,000. Okay. And salary of J in 2017 is 2,70,000. Right. Obviously, again, same thing. This is this pie chart. This pie chart has the bigger value than, than this pie chart. Okay. And then like here, grocery here is 10%. Grocery here is uh, 12%. Okay. No, it will be just 12. It will be actually 12. Uh, it will be actually 12% here. Okay. Right. Edit here. Again, start from here. Okay. So grocery here will be 10% here. Here it is 12%. Okay. 12%. So like savings into here is 12% of 12, 250,000 savings here is 9% of 270,000. Right. So we'll discuss this concept here. So first we'll see what is the, what are the question basically, right? What is the question? What is the first question? What is the percentage change? Uh, what is the percentage increase in the expenses on education of J in 2017? with respect to 2016, right? Okay. What is the percentage uh, increase decrease in savings of J in 2017 when compared from 2016, right? So obviously, once you look at the first question, you got the fund diet. What is the percentage increase in, the ex uh, percentage increase in expenses on education of J in 2017? So in J spend in 2017, J spent 48% of 2,70,000. 48% of 2,70,000, right? And here J is spent 40% of 2,50,000. Correct. This is the fund here. Okay. What is the percentage increase decrease in savings of J in 2017? So here J saving is 12% of 2,50,000. Here J saving is 9% of 2,70,000. Of right. So these are the funda basically. Right. Okay. I hope you got it. Okay. So now we can quickly solve this set here. Okay. Let's go to first question. This is the first question here. Okay. This is the first question. See, what is the percentage increase in expenses on education of J in 2017 with respect to 2016? So quickly, first what we'll do, we'll see what is the first, what is the pie chart increase by, by how much this pie chart has changed with respect to this pie chart. This pie chart is of 2,50,000 value. This pie chart is of 2,70,000 value, right? So directly, what is the percentage change? 8% increase. Directly should say, right? Directly should say, Directly, you should say change of 20,000 on 250,000, right? That is 2 on 25. What is 2 on 25? 2 by 25 into 100. So 2 by 25 into 100 is nothing but 8%. So this pie chart is 8% greater, greater than this pie chart. Okay. So what is the percentage increase in expense on education of J? So if it was due to pie chart increase of 8%, this value, if his education expense in 2016 was 100 due to pie chart increase due to pie chart value increase of 8% his expense on education will automatically increase by 8% right and then what is the what is the and then what is the percent and then what is the percentage uh, change here okay okay and what is the percentage change here right so due to this pie chart increase of 8% this value has already increased by 8%, right? So 100 to 8, 108. Okay. And now, now this uh, education has become this education part, right? See this part here. This education part has become from 40% to 48%. So what is the percentage increase in education part? 40% to 48%. So change of 8 on 40. That is 1 by 5. What is 1 by 5? 20%. So education sector has increased itself by 20%. So 
so education sector has increased itself by 20% right that means a further 20% increase a further 20% increase right so what is 20% of 108 10% is 10.8 21% is 20% is 21.6 right you can apply fund of successive percentage also same thing right so 21.6 increase so 108 plus 21.6 129.6 so 100 to 129.6 i'll say 29.6 percentage change in this increase in the education. this is the answer 29.6 percentage increase in the expense on education this is the answer right we don't need to calculate 40 percent of this with this value right even right now it is easy because it is 2 lakh 50 thousand right and this 40 percent is 1 lakh but this value could be very very tough 2 lakh 44 thousand right so that then also can do it right you can do this what is percentage approximation increase approx right not exactly approx then that will do the do your job right so it's a very very good concept understand this concept right so education itself, education sector has increased by how much? 40% to 848. 40 to 48 means what is percentage increase? 20%. And pie chart has enlarged by how much? 8%. So successive change of 8 and 28. Even you can, you can apply the funda also. Apply the funda of uh, successive change of A plus B plus AB by 100. Same thing, right? We discussed this in percentage, no? So 8, you know that for successive of what? Successive of 8 and 20. So 8 plus 20 plus 20 into 8 by 100 okay that is 28 plus it is how much it is 1.6 it is 1.6 right 28 plus 1.6 29.6 that's the answer so same thing once you know the fund it is successive change you can apply the, apply the formula successive change also no issue okay i hope it is clear right i hope it is clear right move to next set question second question okay second question what is the percentage uh, increase decrease so I should first write here this percentage change okay this percentage change is always same no from here to here it's always increasing by 8% this pie chart is greater by 8% from 2 lakh 50,000 to 2 lakh 70,000 now you can solve each question okay now see here what is the percentage increase decrease in the savings of J in 2017 when compared to 20, compared from 2016 savings so what is savings here 12% what is savings here? 9%, right? So again, successive change. So first, let's say savings of J in 2016 was 100, right? It increased by how much? So if savings was the pie chart increased by 8%, so savings also will increase automatically by 8% if savings was constant. But what is what is successive change in savings now? So saving has decreased by how much? 12% to 9%. 12% to 9%. What is the percentage decrease here? 25%. That is 3 on 12. That is 25%. So 25% is a percentage decrease. So that is 1 fourth. 108, 1 fourth decrease, right? What is 1 fourth of 108? It is how much? 108 half is 54. 54 half 27. What is 1 fourth? Half of half. 108 half 54. 54 half 27. 27 decrease. It becomes 81. That is, so in 2016 it was 100. In 2017 it has become 81. So 100 to 81, what is the percentage decrease? 19%. So answer for this question is what? 19%. Answer for this question is what? 19%, right? Or what is, what, or what is you say, what, what else you can do? Successive change, again, A plus B plus AB by 100. But here B is negative. Here B is negative. We got 12% to 9%. It's decreased, no? So here you can put B value as minus 25. Successive change of? 8% increase and 25% decrease. To show a decrease of 25%, minus 25, right? Minus 25, okay? So what is minus 25 you put here? So A is plus 8, B is minus 25, okay? Plus, plus 25 into uh, minus, I should write here, minus 25. Just make it minus sign here. 25 into 8 with a minus sign. Not, it's not a plus sign, it's a minus sign here. So B is minus, so minus sign. Minus by 100. This part becomes 2. 8 minus 17 is minus 17. Minus 17 minus 2, minus 19. So minus 19% change. That means 19% decrease. Same thing here. Excessive end is the same thing here. Okay. So quite an easy one. Okay, just complete this set now. I hope it is clear. Just complete this set now. Move to next question. Question 3. 
What is the percentage decrease increase in expenditure on grocery from 2016 to 2017? So grocery, again, grocery from 100, it became 2016 from 100. It grocery had again 8% pie chart increase. So ha had grocery was con constant, grocery would become 108. Okay, but grocery has decreased by how much? So grocery has itself increased by how much? 10% to 12%. Uh, 10 to 12. What is the percent increased? Further 20%. So 20% further increase, right? 20% further increase. So again, same thing, right? 21.6. So it is 129.6. So 100 to 129.6. What is the percentage change? 29.6% is increase in grocery. Correct. Same thing. A plus B by AB 100. We have seen this first question. This answer is same as the first question, right? So quite easy, right? So the funda again, right? Don't forget the funda. Funda was... If it's, this is a, this this side, it is a smaller pie chart. This side side it is a bigger pie chart, right? So in a smaller pie chart, grocery is only ten percent. In bigger pie chart, had the grocery was ten percent, that means whatever is the increase in pie chart, that same would be an increase in grocery. That means if both side grocery was ten percent and pie chart increased by eight percent, so my answer for grocery increase of increase was also eight percent, right? Because initially. Grocery was 10% of 2,50,000 and here, here also if it was 10%, then 10% of 2,70,000. So 8% increase, that is the pie chart value. But here it is two changes, right? Once pie chart also enlarged, in that grocery also enlarged, that, that is first change and grocery itself changed, right? From 10 to 12 of the pie chart. So successive change, right? Successive change. Very, very important this funda. Okay, next question now. If salary of Jay in 2018 is Rs. 4 lakh 25,000 and his percentage expense on miscellaneous is same as 2017, that means in 20, like, let's make a figure here, 2018. So in 2018, salary of Jay in 2018, it became Rs. 4 lakh 25,000. So Jay, went really, Jay really did well here, right? He got a very high increase in 4 lakh 25,000. From 2 lakh 20,000, right? So you must have really worked hard. Okay. So 2018, it is 4 lakh 25,000. This is Jay's salary. And his percentage expense on miscellaneous is same as 2017, that is 12%. So here also it is 12% percentage expense percentage in miscellaneous. Okay. So then what is the percentage increase decrease on miscellaneous expense in 2018 when compared to 2016? So now I have to compare from now I have to compare from 2016 to 2018 right directly i'll compare so i'll compare from 2016 to now 2018 right see 2016 to 2018 so 2016 to 2018 what is the percentage change from 2 lakh 50 thousand to 4 lakh 25 thousand what is the percentage change change of 1 lakh 75 thousand on 2 lakh 50 thousand right that is how much that is uh, 7 by 10 that is 70 percent so from 2 lakh 50 thousand to 4 lakh 25 thousand percentage increase 70 percent okay that means here from 100 if jay's salary in 2018 was 4 lakh 25 thousand so let's assume that in 2016 jay on miscellaneous expended spent only spent only 100 rupees since pie chart value increased by 70 percent jay's expenditure on miscellaneous also should increase by 70 percent Okay, if miscellaneous was constant, but what is miscellaneous here? Miscellaneous here is 20% and what is miscellaneous here? 12% So 20 to 12. So 20% 20 to 12%. What is the percentage decrease? 8 by 20. That is, what is 8 by 20? 8 by 20 to what? It is 2 by 5. What is 2 by 5? 40%. So further 40% decrease. So further 40% decrease. So 170, 40%. 17, 4 yeah. 68 so minus 68 it becomes 102 so ultimately his miscellaneous expense in 216 was 100 in 2018 it becomes 102 what is the percentage change increase 100 to 102 2 percent so 2 percent increase is the answer for this question 2 percent increase is the answer for this question i hope you got it right so in 2018 jay's salary was 4 lakh 25 thousand in 2016, Jay's salary was 2,50,000. So, an increase of 1,75,000 over 2,50,000. That is 70% increase. So, 
this pie chart from 2016 increased to 2018 in increased in 2018 to 70 percent right that means every sector will increase by 70 percent if if they were constant but miscellaneous itself in decreased by 40 percent that is from 20 it became 12 70 percent increase followed by 40 percent decrease that is change of actually how much two percent increase what is the answer answer is two percent increase that's the answer i hope you got it right so again a very nice question good concept okay now move to next question one more question by what per, per percent expenditure on regular bills is increased in 2017 when compared to, compared to 2016 so very easy now again it is uh, assumed to be 2016 assumed to be 100 rupees okay regular bills pie chart value increased by 8 percent from 250 to 270 thousand so regular bills should also increase should also increase by 8 percent it becomes 108 what is the percentage change now again it has become from 18 uh regular bills has become from 18 percent to 19 percent what is the percentage change 18 percent to 19 percent percentage change is of 1 by 18 increase so 108 1 by 18 increase what is 1 by 18 of 108 6 6 plus 6 1 by 18 of 108 18 6 is a 108 6 so 108 plus 6 114 so in 2017 it became 114 from 100 what is the percentage change 14 percent what is the answer answer for this question is 14 percent okay so very nice set on pie chart we have discussed this concept right not every question but obviously right if there are four or five varieties in pie chart this has to be a very important variety because this can be solved by sheer logic nothing else right no calculation required in this kind of set so very very important set in pie chart more will continue in the next videos thank you for watching